Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So up to now we have seen lot of HTML5 input types that are supported. So we will re we reach the end of this HTML5 input types. We'll try to see another type of input types that are supported. Those are nothing but date time pickers. Now for example, if you want to uh, show the date time, if the user wants to add the date or time uh, in our HT uh, in our text box means. So normally we use some javascript plugin or javascript calendar plugin to show that uh, graphical user interface of that calendar right so now the html5 also provides us gi giving this uh, calendar section ui so that the user it will uh, so, so that the user can select their particular date without uh, so we can be using your native calendar application now let's try to see it, how we can do this one so for this one first one we will try to see is the first one is date time local okay first one is the date time local let's see if you try to see here i am having a field set i will try to add a, another one field set in this one i will add a legend so date time pickers different types of date time pickers let's try to see first one i am having a p tag and here i am having a label so date time i will try to use it so if you want to use the date time and here it will be using input and here i can use date time local now here i can use name is equal to date time right date time local and here we can add this date time and id is equal to date time so first one is the date time local so this one will create a widget so that the user can select the pick a date with the time with no specific time zone information now let's try to see the output if we try to see the output here here we are able to see some date time pickers and if the user wants to when the user clicks on this calendar a nice calendar ui native uh, widget has been opened so we, so that the user can select the time and also along with the uh, sorry uh, date along with the time with no time zone information so now he can select that date and the time so this is first one is the date time local not only like this the user can also select the month another type of uh, is the month so if the user wants to select only month so we also have a facility for this one so we can use this month now here i can use something like month and here also you can use month <coughs> and i can also use the month now if you try to see the output here we are able to see that the user can select only the particular month of that particular year. He can also select the month with its along with this year. For example, if he wants to change the year means he can also this month. So we can go it. We can clear it out. So we can select the month. Okay. Along with its year, we can select it. Now, if I click on the submit. So now the month along with its year. So we are able to see month along with its year. So like this, we can select it. So this is about the month thing and also we can have another feature that is nothing but time so if you want to select the time so we can also have we can also do something like time here i can use this time 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 here now the user can select only the time here here it will be showing that 12 hours time display but normally when you try to select this one all so it will be sent as an 24 hours time display for example if i try to select as 7 53 pm and if i try to select this one and if i click on this one so here you are able to see 1953 that means 24 hour time format the, the form data will be sent as a 24 24 hour form time format but here the selection will be in the 12 hour time format so this is the another type now the another type what we can see is the week also so we can select a week also week number along its week number of a particular year so now here if i try to use this week i can use this week here now the user can also select the week so here these are these are the week thing along with its particular year here here you are the, the week number is the 19 so that means of total of around 54 or 56 will be there right weeks so of this 54 weeks or 56 weeks so we can the user can select that particular week number on that year so this is the thing so he can go to that previous year also and he can select like this 41 so this is this is how we can select it okay so the user can also have the option if you want to select the week number and it's here so we can do it 
now we have seen different types of all the things right so now if you want to write a validation so is there a validation constraining these date time values is is it available so just like the range number how we have seen it so it also has the min and max along with the step attribute so we can also use this along with the step attribute let's try to see it uh, in uh, practically for example let's say that i am having a p attribute here in this one i am using a label so this is just say that date i am using a date and here we can use input and here we can use the date name is equal to date and id is equal to date now this date means it will show only the date the user can select only the date no time or nothing so he can we will be having a calendar so that the user can select only the date of that particular year or any year now i want to have such a scenario that i want to allow user to select between so this is the may 24th right so now i want to make the user to select between may 5th to may 25th let's assume so here i can use something like min so 2022 05 and 05 so may 5th to max i can give something like 2022 and here i can use something like fifth month and 25th so like this now if you try to see here now the user can select no nothing so no upper and down arrow is working now the uh, the calendar dates are available so they are active only from 5th to 25th only so the user cannot select can, can, cannot select the date less than 5th or cannot select more than 25th he can select between the 5th and 25th only like this we can add the constraints for this date also we can also add a step so we have another we have also seen another thing right step attribute so we can also use this step attribute something like 2 so if i give this uh, step as a 2 alternate days are act, uh, will be active the remaining all are will be disabled so here if we try to see 5 5 6 7 8 so default one is a step is equal to 1 when you told step is equal to means so alter, alternative thing alternative days will be active so for example if you try to see make it as 3 so now if for every third for every 3 so 5 8 11 14 so these things will be active so like this we can also add the constraints for this step so minimum and maximum and step we can use this one for constraining the date time values so this is all about the date so what what we have seen about the date thing so we have used the date time picker so which uses the date time local and here it will give you the local means so with no time zone so month we will be having the month which which asks the user to select the particular month and it will send you the month and here time you will be having the 12 hour time format will be shown here in this 12 hour time format the return value will be 24 hour time time, for time format visually we will be able to see 12 hour time format but it will try to send it a uh, 24 hour time format and here we are having another one is a week so if you want to select the week number of a part of that particular year means you can uh, you can ask this week number and here you will be having something like date picker so if you want to use this date picker <coughs> So if you want to have ca calendar, so and also if you want to add constraints, so constraint means validations to allow the user to select particular dates only between the dates only, and also the step if you want to add means you can use this date like this constraints. You can use these extra attributes. So these are all the different types of date attributes available in the HTML5 input types. So now we have seen all the input types. Why so input type is equal to email? These things is there, right? Type attributes. So we have seen so almost all the uh, input type attributes that are supported in the html and also in the html5 also we have seen hope you understood about this html5 input types if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you